What's going on guys, Ness here. What I have in front of me today is a Dell Optiplex 790. It's one of the small form factor models. Someone I know was actually just going to get rid of this thing, so I was able to get it off of them for dirt cheap. And I've seen a couple videos online where a few people took a couple of these, upgraded them, and they actually make for a neat little gaming rig. So that being in mind, I thought I'd scoop it up and do the exact same. All of the upgrades and the $20 that I paid for this computer, I spent in total just a little bit over $200. The first thing I bought was an upgraded GPU. I needed something better than what the computer already had inside of it, but I didn't want to break the bank. So I thought that an Nvidia GeForce GT 1030 was a nice little middle ground and would do everything I needed it to do. Up next, I got 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. This computer comes with four gigabytes of RAM and that's nowhere near enough for the things I want to do. I want to do some light gaming and some high-end emulation on this PC and that just simply wouldn't cut it. So I got a really good deal on 16 gigs of RAM, and I'm going to slap that in there. And last but not least, this thing is running Windows 7. I definitely plan on upgrading it to Windows 10, so I thought a solid state drive would be just perfect for this machine. Opening up the tower, I was pleasantly surprised to see that this thing had very little dust in it. Very little dust, very little dirt. This thing was well taken care of. The first thing I'm going to do is disconnect and remove the optic drive. Then I'm going to unplug and pull out the hard drive. Now behind all that is where the RAM is housed. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those two sticks of RAM out. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in the new sticks of RAM and pop them right in place. So now I'm going to take the hard drive out of its enclosure and get everything ready for me to drop that solid state in. Now there's no way this tiny little solid state is going to fit inside of the enclosure for the hard drive in this computer. So I went ahead and bought this $7 little bracket that kind of screws into place and lets you mount your solid state to areas that would normally only fit a 3.5 inch hard drive. Now that the solid state is fully mounted in its bracket, it fits perfectly back into the enclosure. So now I'm going to tackle this GPU. I pull this tab and the GPU slides right out. This thing has a Radeon HD 6350 running at 512 megabytes and that is clearly not enough for the light gaming I'm planning on doing with this rig. Because it's a small form factor PC, it can only use low profile graphics cards. So like I said before, I don't want to break the bank. So I thought the GT 1030 was perfect for what I want to do. Now, as you can see, it has the full size tower bracket on there. So I had to screw that off and put on the low profile one. Just slides right back in place. And I have an upgraded GPU. So while I was trying to put everything back together, I noticed that nothing was fitting properly. It turns out that the little branding enclosure that the RAM came in was taking up too much space. So I slowly and carefully peeled those off. Once they were off, everything fit perfectly. Plugged everything back up and this computer was ready for a fresh Windows 10 installation. I was able to run Apex Legends on low settings with no issues at all. Running Quake Champions on medium to low settings, the game ran beautifully. And it was able to emulate pretty much any console I threw at it. So 
So that's pretty much it, guys. I was able to take this 10-year-old computer and breathe some new life in it. These Dell Optiplex actually make for decent little gaming rigs with some small upgrades. Like I said, this whole build cost me just a little bit over 200 bucks. You can find these things for dirt cheap, and they're definitely worth picking up. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.